Hey guys, Dr. Dex here. I sh just shot this video, this update video for you, but I forgot to put it in 4K, so here you go. Doing it over, but we're starting from the top now and we're going down. So since the last time I saw you, you clicked the subscribe button, didn't you? Thank you so much for that. I really appreciate it. Good job. All right, thanks for clicking that subscribe button. All right, so what you see is our upper deck. We have the waterproof bladder installed and we'll go down and take a look at it from downstairs just so you can kind of see what's going on. On this particular bladder, we ran it from the outside towards the house. So they're gonna put the gutter on the house and the water's gonna drain back over this way and tie into this gutter right here on the side of the house. So it's already tied into the existing drainage system. So that's kind of cool. So all the surface borders are cut in. It's a single surface border on this deck, a single in the middle. It's 27 feet from end to end. So the decking can only be 20 feet. So we had to have a way to break the board. And that's what we decided to do is just put a nice breaker board down the middle of this deck. Now the bottom deck has a double surface border, okay? And we'll go down and look at that in a minute. We're not quite buttoned up with it, but you can get the idea. So we really have kind of a single up here, double down there, and these curves are exactly the same. We're gonna have curved glass installed with Regal Ideas crystal rail on both levels. Well, all four, actually all four decks that we're building on this on the back of the house, plus one on the front. So this deck is completely finished on the top side, except for against the house, where we gotta add some trim and uh, some flashing. And the way we fasten this, was we use the Fasten Master Cortex plugging system, okay? So you can kind of see them right there, but when you're six feet up, you really don't see them. So I think that's the best way to fasten down a deck. We use stainless steel top lock screws, and then we use the Cortex plug. It's the best way to fasten the decking down, especially when you have a waterproof bladder. Okay, so let's go down this ladder and we'll check out this lower deck. Always have three points of contact when you're climbing a ladder. So here's the bladder. So the bladder is running, it's draining towards the house and there's the baffles. So the water, it either drips out of the bladder and into the baffle, it hits the baffle or it just drips. Either way is fine. There'll be a gutter along here that the gutter company is coming out next week to install and then they'll tie it right over here into this existing downspout right there. So that's what's going on with that. And that's what it looks like. So we're gonna soften this entire deck. So that's coming. Stay tuned for that. We'll make it happen. It's gonna be a minute because we still have so much more to do. But this deck down here, we've got it to a point. We started laying decking yesterday and we have both sections down, everything's cut. I like to cut the boards when it's cool. So right now the sun's out, the sun's hitting the deck, it's hot, things are expanding and contracting a little bit. So I don't like to cut boards when it's this warm. So everything was cut first thing this morning and then I was able to cut in my curves over here, okay? And get the first section of the curved surface border in, which is the most difficult. And I know you're saying, hey doctor, this looks like a different color than the rest of the deck, but it's actually the same color. It's just the way the, the sun hits it and refracts the light. It just kind of gives it a different look, a different sheen. So it is actually the same color as the rest of the deck. So that's all locked down and looking good. We just have to finish the surface borders around the edges on the next time we're here. And then we can start doing the outside fascia details and start getting the deck complete. And then it's gonna be some crystal rail. The curved glass will be going down here as well. It'll look really great. Looking forward to that. And then also over here, everything is completely stripped all the way up. And that's all getting rewrapped in dark hickory as well. So once we get the decks framed over there and laid, we'll probably wrap all the posts, wrap the beams, all that good stuff. So still got a ways to go, but we're getting there. So I'm digging it. So if you like this video guys, please don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Hit that bell icon to be notified when we're putting out new content. Don't forget to like this video, share it around. Leave a comment below. Let me know what you think of our progress this week. And thanks for watching guys. Have a great day.